Emil Piakowski and Nicolas Capaldo, the right back today. That one sent into the middle, and Cohn having to make a save, having to make another one is Philippe Cohn. The German tested early by the Hartburgers. That does bring us to Philip Cohn, the 23-year-old, who, you know, and the new manager, Matthias Yeisla, the 33-year-old youngster who was taking over for Jesse Marsh, has said, yes, they haven't really decided who the main keeper would be, but it's been Cohn who's gotten most of the starts as of late. Started in both of the Champions League qualifiers. Gets it taken away out to Seiwald. Guard. Left foot to Adamu. Adamu just wide. A streaking Yanuzovic was there as well. Either or, a great chance for Salzburg. Adamu, you see him at the bottom of your screen, raising his hand, wants it. The one touch. They say he comes alive in the penalty area, Junior Adamu. And Yanuzovic, so Koita, another guy that, not on this roster, but Salzburg able to still keep it up. Into the box we go, the shot and the score! Salzburg takes a lead moments before the half. Nicolas Capaldo. His first goal with this Red Bull side. The Argentine gets the job done just a few days before his 23rd birthday. Adamu sets him up nicely. Capaldo releases and finishes. It's, oh, what a touch by Adamu there. A very delicate one at that, and Capaldo able to finish because of that placement. And then goes five hole from the goalie, Sueta. That's a big goal right before the half as the teams are about to head into their dressing room. Then after that, Salzburg will come back on the 11th of September and play Tyrol out in front. An opportunity here for Harper. Donetsch stopped by Kuhn. The third big save of the day for Philip Kuhn. Looking every bit of the number one keeper for Salzburg. Oh my goodness. As we'll get another look here on the replay. This gets out in front and Piakowski, <laughs> that cost him, took a chance. But right into the breadbasket of Kuhn. Tadic had said, I could score 20 to 25 goals a year with Salzburg. Last year, sat a little bit more often. And here comes the cavalry. <laughs> I said the substitutes could be coming in, and here they come. Chesko, Aronson, two of the most exciting players in this club make their way in. Aronson in for Bernadi. Berisha checks in for Adeyemi. German for German. And Sesko in for Adamu. So the rotation heavy. Tuchich also in. Almost forgot about him <laughs> with all the substitutes we just had. Aronson coming in and just, he is nonstop, wins possession there. He's like a jitterbug out there. But not one that's just going to annoy you, but one that is going to score and, and make a big impact. I mean, he is, he has really come on and since coming to Salzburg has. In, you know, and Jesse Marsh said it when Aronson came over. He says, I think he can score more, and we've, we've seen that from Aronson here in Austria. 
in the middle. I believe that was Aronson. Seiwald. Into Aronson. Aronson working. What a pass in the middle for Sesko, who goes up and over. Aronson with the defender closing in, somehow got that to Sesko. Couldn't finish. Watch this again. A perfect leave. And Sesko, 18 years old, still refining some things. But that's, once again, wonderful touch by Aronson. A little bit of a struggle this year. They haven't really figured themselves out just yet. This is Lima working against Capaldo. Capaldo wins the battle. It's been Capaldo's match. Sesko goes down in the middle. I mean, how excellent has Capaldo been? He got away with a shove. I think the crowd had a pretty good gripe there. Could be there be an opening here. Lima has it taken away. Quality by Capaldo. Aronson back out to Bernardo. Seiwalt. Seiwalt. Aronson stops. Aronson shoots. Save. Clutches his locks. Thought he had one. Sucic. Sends it in. Back out, Goldner. Oh, man. Another opportunity for Aronson. I couldn't tell if that went all the way through. It did. Sweta made a kick save. The Medford Messi doing his thing in the penalty area. Jesse Marsh was always rather to point. Bernardo tries saving it to himself. He does, he wins the second kick. Neiman was right there waiting for it. Shy. This was the play I was talking about with Bernardo. How about that? I'm glad we went back to that play. Matias Yaisla taking over for Jesse Marsh. July 1st. Still unblemished as the head man for Red Bull Salzburg. The final whistles blow. The sixth win of the year for Salzburg. They take down Hartburg, one to nothing. You see Kurt Russ, he thought maybe something slipped through their fingers. Instead, shaking hands is the 33-year-old Geisla. The one goal at the end of the first half. That man, man of the match in my estimation, Nicolas Capaldo in the 44, supplied by Adamo. Brendan Aronson comes on in the second half. The next time we'll see him is with Team USA. Next time you'll see us is in a couple weeks when the international break is over on September 11th. But for now, that'll do it for our coverage here from Hartburg, Austria, Pro Fertile Arena.